gonna apologize now because it's a little noisy in here. I've got a part on my 3D printer and my air conditioner is running, but it's over 90 degrees outside and if I wait for the air conditioner to stop running, I'm never gonna get this video started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go and maybe I'll put some noise reduction in later to try to quiet things down. Now that we have all of our 3D printed parts ready, I'm going to install things in the SAMLA box. We have three assembled retracting spool holders. The assembly process for these holders I described in my previous video. Right now I'm going to set those aside. We also have two boxes that are printed to hold silica gel that will keep the humidity inside the box low. There is also a 3D printed base that supports the flimsy bottom of the SAMLA box. It also will space out these stands so that they're consistent spacing apart from each other. There are some 3D printed parts that will support the tops of the stands to keep them from spreading out and tie them into the sides of the box and there's also this 3D printed part that mounts onto an inexpensive hygrometer so that you can monitor the humidity on the inside of the box. We'll start with the SAMLA lid and we'll attach these silica gel boxes. And we're going to take the lids off and there are holes in the bottom of the box that are going to be mounted on the inside of the lid. These will be done by eye using my center punch to mark the positions of the holes and then we'll open them up with the right size drill bit. Um, the position of this doesn't have to be super precise so I'm just kind of positioning it by eye I'm going to first mark off the position of this hole. This is going to be a, a clearance hole for a three millimeter screw. So I have a three millimeter drill bit here that I'll use to drill the hole with. I'm just going to thread the screw right into the plastic 3D printed part. And with that in place, now I'm going to straighten this out as closely as I can and I'm going to mark off the other corner. Right there like that. I'll swing this out of the way and drill this hole. Now with that in position, we'll go ahead and mark out the rest of the hole locations. And I'll take off this screw and now we can drill the rest of these. We'll go ahead and mount this box in here using six millimeter long screws. So we'll need five more of those. All right, the first box is mounted, and now we can do the second box. There. Now both boxes are mounted on the top of the lid and they're ready to be filled with silica gel. This is a roll of quarter inch wide by eighth inch thick foam gasket material 
that I'm going to use to close up the gap between the lid and the top of the box. And this stuff just, the backing peels off and you can stick it right down to the top of the, the box. And I choose to put it on the top of the box because it's easier to keep this lined up with the edge of the, the box than it is to try to position it correctly on the lid. So all we need to do to install it is just peel it and run it around the lip of the box so that the inner edge lines up with the inside of the box. And this stretches very nicely to go around the corners. And then when I get to the end, I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to trim this off. those up against each other and now we're all set. Now we're going to install the stands in the box and the first step in that is to mark out hole locations using this frame as our location guide. So to get that started I'm going to put down a piece of blue tape right up in this area I'm going to use a square to mark the center line of the box using a, a dimple in the injection molded box as a guideline. So there's our center. And now if I take one of the stands and set it on top with the center of the stand lined up with the center of the box on this mark. it'll be in the right spot. And then I can mark this hole in the tape. I'm going to use my punch to do that. With that hole marked, let's go ahead and put another piece of tape on and mark the center line on the other side so that we can make sure that this frame is going to go on square and extend this line down to this side. We'll take the frame and put a fastener down inside one of these screw holes and drop it into the hole that we have on the bottom of the box. And again, we can use a punch to mark the center. Like that. use another fastener to locate the frame. There we go. So that's that's where the frame is going to sit and we can mark the locations of the other four holes now. And remove this tape. Now that these holes are drilled, we can use 10 millimeter long screws to go up through the base and into the stands. You want to be careful that when you put the stands in, they're all facing in the same direction. Okay. Now that the stands are installed, we're going to take these spacers and we're going to insert them first in between the two in the middle 
what these ones are for. And then we'll put these ones there and here. And that positions the tops of the stands in between the sidewalls. And the goal here is so that you're able to set the spools right down on the tops of the stands without having to push or pull them to get them in position. Because once you've got multiple spools in here and you've got a, and you've got a spool on each one of these um, spindles, you want to be able to just set it down in there without having to do too much wiggling to get it in place like that. And then they spin freely. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and put a fastener into the end of each one of these spacers on the ends so that that will be locked into place. And these ones we're going to install with six millimeter screws. With those in place, we'll do another test. So this should lift in and out fairly easily. Not bad. Now we can put our weights in. This 3D printed frame will hold this inexpensive hygrometer. The frame is held in place with some rare earth magnets. I use my vise to press the magnets into the pockets in the frame. Then the hygrometer can be snapped into place like that. With the hygrometer installed in its little mounting plate, this can now be put anywhere you want to inside the box. I put mine up in this upper right hand corner and you just hold it in place and then use a couple of matching rare earth magnets to stick it in place. And now you've got a display of the humidity and temperature on the inside of the box. The last step in finishing off the box is installing the ports for the Teflon tubes. Where they get located in your box kind of depends on each person's individual setup. I have my boxes sitting behind my uh, 3D printer and the bottom box is just about on the level with the MMU. So I have the tubes coming out of the top of the box. And this next box up is going to set on top of the first one. So I will probably have these ports coming out of the bottom and then going in here. To mark out the locations for the holes, I'm going to use pieces of blue painter's tape again. Then we'll find the center of the box. Two, four, five is right here is the center line. We'll put the fitting five eighths from the bottom of the floor. We'll come in 5 eighths and go up 5 eighths. We'll come in 5 eighths and up 5 eighths. I'm going to pre-drill those with the three millimeter drill bit just to get the hole started. Now we don't need our tape anymore. Now we'll finish off the holes with an S drill bit. And I'm going to take this very slow to put this, to drill this in place, 
because otherwise you can tear up the size of the sides of your box. Install our fittings and I just put these in here and kind of wiggle them into place so that they're at the right orientation and you can even if they go in crooked you can even pull them out and re put them back in because this plastic is kind of soft so that's kind of finicky I probably won't do it on camera the whole time so that's what it looks like with fittings installed uh, right now I only have two fittings I need one more I've got to order it uh, so for right now I'm just gonna cover up the empty hole with some aluminum tape just to seal it off just temporarily and then when my new fittings arrive I will install one into that port Since this is going to be the front side of my box, I'll go ahead and relocate my micrometer to this side. That's one of the nice things about using a magnetically mount, mounted sensor, is that you can just relocate it to wherever you want it to be. Okay, now we are ready to put some silica gel in the compartments in the lid and put it on the box. Now we have two boxes of silica gel that will take the humidity in this box down low. That about wraps it up other than to secure the lid with these clips and the way that I do that is I put two of them on the ends. And that seems to be enough to secure the lid without any part of it having long, long gaps that are uh, that are unclamped. So that dry box now it's reading 36%, and with these two in here, I'm expecting it to go uh, quite a bit lower down. Um, on my other dry box that just had one of these boxes in it. Uh, it went down to about 19%, so I'm hoping that with two of them, it's going to get even drier inside. Uh, that's it for now.